Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video we're going to be covering my setup for streaming Foundry VTT. So I do get asked a lot of questions about what the setup I actually have is going on. The main thing I get asked is about how I get the animated pictures of all of my players and myself on the screen. And the key piece of information for this is Reactive by FujiTech. This works as a Discord plugin. Basically, once you log in and you give it access to your Discord, it can link through. You then have to set up an active and an inactive image. In my case, I just use the dim feature built within it. And then you'll get some links to some sources that you'll be able to use within OBS. I tend to not use the group source, but I use each individual character's source. They will appear in the list down as our extra people turn up. Once you've got your images, you then load OBS and bring in a browser source for each individual player and then copy the link. Once that's done, I can bring in the overlay, place that over the top of everything else and then line up my pictures below. And that sorts out the character tokens. The next thing to set up is our display in OBS for Foundry. There are a couple of options here. There is Monk's Common Display or stream view. Currently I'm using Monk's common display and this video will cover that in a bit more detail showing you what's going on there. However I have done a video previously on stream view and the ideas are similar in both. So I've added another browser source and I've logged in as another player that I created just purely for the stream view. In the settings of Monk's common display we have to go in here and select that player so that they become the view. Now I'm showing you a side by side of OBS along with my GM view of what's going on and we can go through what's going on here. Monk's common display gives us a little extra button that we have to press on the side and when we do we open up we have different view modes that we can show. We have GM screen and when I select this and we look round we can now see that the screen is following exactly what my view is doing on my screen. This is handy if you need to show a larger area but control what the screen is doing. We have a full screen mode which allows for like menu screens etc. I like to use this one quite a lot. Most of the time I leave it in this party view where it will follow the party around as the, their tokens move around in space. You also have an option for that you can select all the tokens you wish to follow and then set it. And now the screen will follow all of those tokens. The last one you have is Combatant. When you have this selected during combat, you will see that the screen moves around following what each combatant as their turn comes up. This module now works quite well with Ripper's new combat tracker, so we can have that as on the overlay as well, and it all stays nice and tidy. And they're the basics. I find as long as you have at least a two screen setup, you're usually okay to run like this. I hope this video has given you some ideas of what you can do for your overlay on your game. Thank you all for listening. And please like and subscribe for more content.